you know the old saying when life gives you lemons make lemonade well what if you haven't got any lemons what if you haven't got enough lemons what if you just don't want to use lemons well here at Perivale in that situation they just make lemon drinks anyway Yes, yes, Rasko and Disco Beer Review with me, Disco, coming up you of another beer video. This time, once again, up at Horsenden Farm at Perivale Brewery. And as I'm asking the question, what happens when you have no lemons? The answer here at Perivale is they make lemon drinks anyway. This is their very zesty 3.5% lemon sour. An absolute banger of a summer refreshment beer. A uh, lovely lemon nose on it. And even better refreshing lemon flavor it's basically slightly alcoholic lemonade cheers oh. i say to people it's basically like somewhere between liquid sherbet lemons it's got some lactose in it so it's kind of lemon meringue pie kind of bitter lemon alcoholic lemonade it's got citra hops in it yeah i know it's doing some of the citrus leg work there but the most amusing for me or the funniest thing about this beer is it contains absolutely no whole lemons say so the citrus hops are doing some of the work but the most of the lemon work is coming from a plant called lemon verbena uh, not one actually uh, forage from around these parts it comes in dried uh, but is at least natural uh, has a great lemon aroma and in part of the beer provides the lemon flavor it's um yeah I, I, every now and again on the aftertaste is that little kind of lemon sherbet kind of sparkle along with a creamy sweetness from the lactose uh, it's a really nice refreshing summer beer goes down well uh, on a warm weekend like it has been so obviously unlike most of my other beer reviews either here or on instagram this is not my first try of this beer i've been drinking it fairly regularly for a number of years it's always been really popular on the bar whenever it's on and it's one i'm happy to go back to on a regular basis as you can see here the first i think the first time i tried it was in 2021 this is certainly the earliest review of it uh, and even went so far as to buy some lemon bonbon sweets to go with it. Don't seem to have made any note of the sherbet lemons here, though. Although, as you see from the words, I do note the lemon meringue pie uh, aspect to it and the bitter lemon drink as well. Although it amuses me that this beer doesn't currently contain any lemons, despite the lemon flavour, it did once, including here, I believe, when it was brewed on a smaller kit. And using the larger kit became somewhat impractical, both logistically and economically, to be zesting a whole bunch of lemons into the brew just because of the size. So that component was left out and the recipe adjusted. And it doesn't seem, on the face of it, to have made a lot of difference. Still got the same zesty lemon notes from the lemon verbena and still uh, an excellent interesting and refreshing lemon sour as for the lemonade well kind of do that too this is the kind of almost the little brother of very zesty is lemon soda or we kind of call it lemonade anyway also doesn't contain any lemons as such it does contain a little bit of lemon juice doing some of the citrus work in that one uh, but the main uh, citrus component from this lemonade is a plant called well lemon balm i think is a much more common uh, lemon plant probably uh, heard of it a lovely kind of uh, medicinal kind of uh, lemon flavor on that one 
a little uh, a little white flowers on it too really nice lemon aroma provides a nice kind of almost kind of bitter lemon do you remember the bitter lemon mixer drinks back in social clubs back in the day I love it, just really refreshing, much more natural kind of lemonade. There is sugar in it. Uh, these go uh, in, it's infused uh, with water, the sugar syrup, a splash of lemon juice. Well, a good splash of lemon juice. Uh, it's carbonated through the keg line. Uh, so it just pours on the bar. Uh, and it's excellent for the non drinkers and children. Uh, people love it up here. It's been really uh, going. It's been really pouring well this weekend, which I'm impressed by because I'll put this one together, <laughs> which amazes me too. But this one, the Zesty, is one I take too for a nice refreshing pint. Usually after shift there, it goes down absolutely superbly. 3.5% is one that I wouldn't necessarily look at very often. Because this one is a sour and it's not a mouth puckering sour, it's not one of those mega sours, but it is nice, creamy, citrus flavoured glass of refreshment. Who knows? Maybe uh, if that sounds good, I'll see you up here for a pint sometime. Until then, cheers and enjoy the beers, lemon or otherwise. <laughs>